You may recognize this as being a ureter, but if you didn't, if you look at it over here, you can see it's connected to the kidney and coming out of the renal pelvis. So this is a ureter that's been opened up. Here is the mucosa here in the lumen, and here is the mucosa here. And notice that there is perhaps a one to two centimeter tumor that uh, appears to significantly encompass, perhaps obstruct, perhaps not, the ureter. And this is our tumor in question. Let's take a look at it. Well, here is the smooth muscle of the ureter. Here is the outside of the ureter, which has been nicely India inked to see if any of the tumor cells extend to the outside of the ureter. Here is the smooth muscle, and then here is the tumor in question. Notice, clearly, the tumor has a papillary configuration. Here's a papilla, here's a papilla, here's a papilla, here's a papilla, defined as a fibrovascular core surrounded by epithelial cells. Let's take a look at some of these papilla in closer view now. And you could see that even though there is a nice, thin fibrovascular core, the lining of this fibrovascular core, or the epithelial portion of the papilla, looks exactly like transitional cells. Uh, this is a transitional cell neoplasm. It's a transitional cell carcinoma. Virtually all of the transitional cell tumors of uh, urothelium, representing the epithelium all the way from the minor calyx of the kidney, to the proximal portion of the urethra is transitional and therefore tumors of this would be transitional cell carcinomas. Uh, they're very frequently papillary as well. Uh, often they can very diffusely infiltrate the underlying muscle, but in this case they seem to have stopped short of it. Notice there are little collections of inflammatory cells here. Notice that some of the connective tissue extends into the tumor to form the fibrovascular core for these papillary structures. Notice at least in this uh, field here that the uh, underlying smooth muscle has not been infiltrated. Also notice that uh, you don't, you could, even though you could see clusters of inflammatory cells, lymphocytes in the wall, that in the, what we've seen so far, there is no tumor invasion. And even if you go to the outside, the connective tissue of the ureter, which has been very nicely India inked here, you see that uh, the tumor has spared that as well. Here are some blood vessels. Here's the India ink along the external surgical surface. Surface. Here's some looser connective tissue. Here's bundles of smooth muscle. But the tumor appears to very, very nicely stop short of the uh, muscular layer of the ureter. Thank you very much.